Peggy 12. Welcome to MOBA Mastery number 4, where we'll give you some quick tips and strategies about Guardians of Middle-Earth. In this episode, we'll take a look at the elements of a Guardian's loadout. A loadout is a set of items and bonuses that enhance a Guardian's default statistics and provide new capabilities. There are thousands of ways to build loadouts, and the decisions you make have a dramatic effect on your Guardian. Each Guardian has a default loadout, but up to 10 custom loadouts can be created and saved. Not all aspects of a loadout are available right away. They are unlocked with experience as you play Guardians of Middle-Earth. A loadout is composed of three elements, potions, commands, and the Guardian Belt. Potions are consumable buffs like health regeneration, speed boosts, or attack bonuses that are used during the match. Each potion is a single use, and only one potion can be active at a time. Potions are activated with the D-pad. Up to four potions can be slotted in a match. Commands are special powers that a Guardian can call upon. Commands can range from heals to powerful spells that summon Ents or Balrogs to the battleground. Up to four commands can be slotted and are activated with the left trigger, but some only become available as a Guardian levels up in a match. Only one command can be used at a time. More powerful commands have exceptionally long cooldowns and must be used wisely. The belt can be used to provide Guardians with bonuses that unlock throughout the course of a match. A belt is made up of two items, gems and relics. When added to a belt, gems provide stat increases to Guardians. Up to seven gems can be placed in a belt. Gems unlock as a Guardian levels up in a match, with one gem unlocking every two levels, from left to right. The colors and grades of gem represent different statistical benefits. Relics can also be added to a belt to give a Guardian potent bonuses. A relic is a pattern that, when filled with gems, unlocks a stat boost or new capability on top of what is already provided by the gems. Relics are powered by gems, and all of the gems in a relic need to unlock before the relic becomes active. Since gems unlock from left to right, where you place a relic affects when in the game it will unlock. For example, a relic with two slots placed on the left side of the belt become active earlier in the game at level 4. While a four-slot relic in the same place won't be active until level 8. Experiment with new loadouts to suit your playstyle. Remember, you can review your opponent's loadout from the in-game menu. There are always ways to get the upper hand. You are remarkable. Next time, we'll look at team strategy and how to rule the battleground. For more info, check us out at guardiansofmiddleearth.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.